Hello friends, Mr. Mike here, and today we're going to answer a very important question that will follow you all the way to the year next month. And Sid the Science Kid's going to help us answer it. Why can't I have cake for dinner? With our Dr. Seuss Funko. Sid the Science Kid, why can't I have cake for dinner? It's a very special day for Sid today. Today is my birthday. Sid's favorite birthday treat in the whole wide world is cake. Do you know what Sid would like on his cake? An extra yummy dinosaur made out of frosting. cake delicious. Why can't I eat cake every day, 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 day? Sid has another super idea. Why wait until your birthday to have a birthday cake? Why not have cake for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Why don't parents let us eat cake all of the time? Just then, Sid, here's his mom. Hey, Sid, it's breakfast time. She calls from the kitchen. Yippee, it's time to eat. It's the birthday boy, says Dad. Mom and baby Zeke wish Sid a happy birthday. As mom sets out a bowl of cereal for Sid, dad asks a very important question. What would you like for your birthday dinner? Since it was Sid's special day, he gets to choose. Cake. Sid's answer is simple as it is tasty. Cake. Mom and dad are a bit confused. Of course, Sid will have cake, but after dinner, right? For dinner. Mom explains why cake is sometimes food. Cake has a lot of sugar in it, Mom says. How about cupcakes, then? Too much sugar, Mom says again. Little cookie shaped like cake? Can you guess the answer? Too much sugar, Mom says once more. But cake is so yummy. I'm Rovering Reporter Sid with today's survey. Sid has a lot to talk about when he arrives at school. Gerald and May are waiting on the playground. Hey guys, Sid asked the question of the day. What would happen if you ate cake for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? I think your tummy would feel yucky, answers May. Gabriel explains that Sid isn't the only one who likes cake. I once saw a bunch of ants eating cake at the picnic. They liked it, so maybe eating cake all day is a good idea. Gerald tells how lots of cake makes him feel. When I ate lots of cake, I ran around and around and around and around and around and around and around. Look, it's Teacher Susie. It's rug time. Come on inside, she sings. The kids take their seats. Before they get started on today's lesson, Teacher Susie has a special greeting. Happy birthday, Sid. Sid's friends wish him a super duper schmooper birthday, too. Do you have a birthday wish you'd like to share? Teacher Susie asks. Sid sure does. My wish is to eat cake for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Teacher Susie agrees that cake tastes good, but she says it's not eating every day. What foods give you energy and make you feel good? Nutritious foods all have the things in that you need to grow strong and healthy, Teacher Susie explains. Is is it important to feel healthy? Sid's friends show him what they can do when they feel healthy and strong. Gabriel flexes her muscles. May whirls and twirls around. Gerald asks what types of foods are nutritious. That's a perfect question, says Teacher Susie. Let's explore at the super fab lab, she calls. The kids all grab their journals and their lunch boxes. Teacher Susie wheels out a big chart. The best way to eat a nutritious meal is to eat a bit from each food group every day. Grab your journal too. Sid notices something very important. There is no cake on that nutritious food chart. The friends begin grouping their lunches into the different, different food groups. Carrot sticks are vegetables. Tuna salad is fish. A cheese sandwich is bread and also cheese. A veggie sandwich is bread too, and it also has vegetables. Apples and oranges are fruit. Crackers belong in the bread group. Yogurt goes with milk and cheese. 
Now let's use your journals to draw a nutritious meal. Teacher Susie says, let's see what everyone drew in their journals. Pasta, meatballs, broccoli, bread, chicken, green beans, potatoes. Teacher Susie is impressed with each of her scientists. You know so much about eating healthy, nutritious foods. Sid is sad that he can't eat cake all day, but if he did, his body wouldn't be getting enough nutritious foods. He eats only cake once in a while and eats a little bit from each food group. Every day he'll be, have enough energy to run and jump and play. When Sid gets home, he knows just what to request for dinner. I like mashed potatoes, peas, a glass of milk, and some of Mom's jumbo gumbo. Hey, those are foods from each food group. He learned about that in school, and Sid got his wish from this morning, too. But the nutritious, delicious twist. A yummy cake with a dinosaur made out of blueberries. Hmm. Fulfillment with a book. Please subscribe. Have a great day.